And welcome back, gamers, to another exciting episode of Grey's Anatomy. Here we are with Whore. I mean, Meredith. Med Meredith. Oh, there we go. Meredith. That's her name. Shit. And we're going to do some vitals, because when things are life-threatening, you take blood pressure. And again, the game's still teaching me how to do these things. And it's like, oh, the bad thing about this is if you fuck up, you have to start all the way over doing the blood pressure. So... It's wise to concentrate and make sure you do it correctly. Let's see, thermometer up ass, blue snowflake, other blue snowflake, and the bad guy from Mario Brothers 2. Okay. So, these actually get substantially harder as the game goes on, which pisses me off, because at first I thought they went in order, but now they can just mix them up and it's up to your own to figure it out. So through all that, we found out she has a light fever. You have a fever. Oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. What are you doing down here? I, I thought you and McDreamy were following each other around Neuro. It's I Neuro. Oh, know. Neurological. Okay. Hey, enter Sausage. Hey. Who's that? Sausage Man. I don't know, but creepy nurse guy is starting to freak me out. He's always lurking around. Creepy nurse guy? <sighs> Never mind. I like how they just introduce some guy that nobody knows. It kind of reminds me of the dude off of The Office, but I don't think he looks good enough to be that guy. So... I don't want to be in the middle of Derek and Christina. Threesomes are not that good. So we can either change the subject by using my pubic hair, or we could set her on fire and offer to help. Well, uh, let's change the subject, because I don't want to talk about this shit anymore. Because this is a hospital, we need to do doctoring. Cool surgeries today? There we go. Angiogram with Han. Where the hell is Bailey? Wow, that Fine. was... Fine, just let me know if you hear anything, okay? Well, that Dr. was great. Gray, my throat feels like it's getting worse. Sorry and now she that. turns into an alien. Blah! Aw. That'd have been funny. She's gonna give her a jack sh oh. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. I'm just going to jam this q tip into your eye. And <laughs> that way you'll quit thinking about your throat. So again, everybody obviously when you're sick the back of your throat looks like this. And here I do put a happy mace. See, it's all better. Yay. Aw. Guess we need to complete our objective. This game just tickles my fancy, wherever that's located, so Let's go ahead and put all this nasty shit. I'm, I'm sure she's got gone a hippocerpolis or something like that. I'm out of here. Tell Bailey I'm on to her in that stupid review. Yeah. I'm Bailey, that's for sure. You know something. She does not. Look at that scowl. Out with it, bitch. Before I shank you here in the pit. Doom 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 It's almost like blues clues. But now we get these little wrongly covered peppermint candies. Did I confess? I totally forgot. Derek. Oh I did. Derek what? Derek gave the She is fucking this guy and sold him out. This is why women can't be trusted gamers. Oh look at that! McDreamy is McDead, and I'll kill him at McDonald's eating a McRib. <laughs> Oh, so much pun, it's punny. So once again, I blow the game out of the water, because SKS is chief of surgery. Oh, what is up next? Oh, we have Izzy again. Oh, Catherine Heigl. What the fuck is that? Why are you blowing up condoms? Hi, I'm Mr. Condom. I get jammed in me every day after work. Why are you still crying, baby? So, the best way to make a baby stop crying, gamers, is to play some more Guitar Hero. So let's do that. Dun 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 dun. No pubic hair now. Dun 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 dun. See, that's gonna make that baby happy. No crying, right? I stop crying, cause I'm scared of your mom. She's gonna kick me in the twat and make me lose my job. <laughs> Dude, that thing's creepy. No wonder he's scared of you. No shit. You wouldn't think it, but babies love Alex. It's like how if you hate cats, they won't leave you alone. So, he hates babies, and that's... Oh, look, hey! He's just gonna Fonzarelli the baby here and make everything. So, she's clearing the doubt about herself because she sucks with kids. And somehow that leads us to the path of the Fonz. May the peace of Fonzarelli go with you. Amen. Hey, I love this. This is the greatest game ever. That would be awesome. He's like, fuck that. I'm not doing you with that happy face glove. I am not ramming that in. No. I'm not. I'm going to shovel my own crap today and not molest you with a glove. 
So you can either beg or bet Alex. Well, Catherine Heigl does not beg anybody. So we gotta move this stupid piece of shit and put the flame there. And yeah, look at that. That is her betting. That face there. They forgot to even draw the rest of her hair. Awesome. Whatever. You can't help me anyways. Oh really? Bet. Yeah. Fine. I'll handle baby iron lungs if you prep my patient. Who the hell? I'm glad she laid the glove down. That was getting kind of scary. Enough, buddy. You don't want to turn out all soft like O'Malley. Yeah, because he's a bitch. And here's the prep patient. Oh, it's the girl that he wants to bang. She looks so like, oh my god, we're taking her face away. Why does her name like something else but they call her Ava? That makes no sense whatsoever. Gamers, get on it. Why is she called that? Let's give her a shot. Oh, shit. I'm obviously terrible with needles. There we go. That, that's pro skills right there. So, hopefully the baby is not crying. Uh-oh, here comes McSteamy. A great rack, or is he Stevens is prepping my patient? She doesn't even have boobs. What is your problem? Look at her. She's flat. Izzy Stevens does not have boobs. Catherine Heigl, even in the movie, knocked up. No, don't leave me alone with him. No! It's a baby crying. What will we do? I don't know why that accent came out. It's all I could think of. My brain just does things sometimes. Uh-oh, we're back with Dr. Yang. <laughs> Are you feeling? He fucking doesn't know he's not on the moon. Look at that face. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> uh oh. So Dr. Yang is fucking pissed. Bad review, Derek here. Why'd you give me a bad review? Christina, I. Uh, oh shit, dance party! Get some disco music, stat! If I don't relieve the pressure, his frontal lobe. He's gonna disco himself to death. Look at him dancing over there. Dancing, dancing, dancing! <laughs> Everybody loves a disco party. We're gonna do it in surgery, too. I think I was actually so tore up over him disco dancing that I failed this. Look at this. I'm already cutting the brain. So we got to reopen this up. And then uh, we, this is how you lose a you use a drill. So to take the drills off, and lefty loosey. Remember that there. It works on screws. Look at my awesome drill. Oh, there's, there's the moneymaker. And uh, I found out something. You see the little Ghostbuster symbols popping up or the no smoking signs? What that means is you don't put the suction directly over where blood comes from. Why? Well, because you suck more blood out. But obviously, as you can tell here, I'm a dumbass. And I don't know that. So I keep doing it. And I keep shooting blood all over this fucker's head. So I think I essentially kill him. So SKS, Chief of Surgery. Um, yeah, this goes on for a minute. You all are like, oh, those timers are so long. How could you ever fail? Well, by the time that I figure it out, and I'm like, oh, shit, I can't, you know, I, I can't touch the, the wound. You just have to get close to it. By the time I figure that out, the time runs so low. I think I figured it out this time. Let's see. Yeah, I actually, oh, shit, nope. <laughs> I fucked that one up. So I stopped two of them, and finally, by the time I get to cauterize the veins, the timer's so low... And I'm sitting here burning this guy's brain, you know, because he was dance partying out on us, that uh, actually fell. So, I actually get to do the whole thing over because Dr. Yang is terrible. It's because she was pissed. That's karma. Karma's a bitch. And I really wished it would have went back and showed him dance partying out again because that's by far, so far in this game, that's my favorite part where he's just like, ah! <laughs> he just fucking rage dances. <laughs> Oh, we just needed flashing music, some uh, light sticks, some glow sticks, that would have been great. Oh, shit, I messed up this, oh, yep. Obviously, I can't cut in a circle. There we go. See, I got it this time, I know what in the hell I'm doing. So, SKS may mess up once, but never twice, I hope. Because, you know, if you mess up on brain surgery, you know, you can just uh, start over. So, here I'm a little bit better at what I'm doing. Taking my time, trying not. To, well, you, you saw that, I guess. I should have just worked on one at a time in hindsight now. You know, stop one from bleeding. And then here I'm just like, fuck it! Ah! I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna fail again and again and again, and this is terrible. But uh, I think I actually cleared this up with better time. Yeah, I get one there, and then I. Oh shit! 
Obviously, I'm still terrible. So there's two, and then I can work on this last one, which is spewing blood everywhere. You know, I guess I guess if you're a surgeon, it is kind of just like, oh fuck you, wound. Stop that shit. Oh god, here we go again. So now the game felt sorry for me, and it lets me pass. So hopefully, I can get through here. I don't know why we want to stop this guy from dance partying, but, you know, I guess it's something you have to do. So I completed that craniotomy or whatever it was. He's like, why aren't I dancing anymore? I need to get him to the OR. About my review. This isn't exactly the best... Yeah, hey, fuck you and your review. This is a hospital. We're supposed to be saving people's lives, Dr. Yang. So fuck you. Gosh, but of course it's Dr. Yang, and we're going to be fucking confident... And we're going to tell him, you know, fuck this guy who's having a dance party. I want to be on the Fellowship of the Ring. I am going to go to Europe and do this. about that fellowship than I do. I've been following Dr. Kersazian's work for years. That fellowship has my name on it. It's the Christina Yang Fellowship. Jesus Christ. He's just like... Christina, I didn't give you a bad review. I was simply being honest. You're talented and driven, but you lack the experience. Not to mention the patient skills. Yeah, there's somebody sitting here dying, and you fucking are worried about getting on a fucking thing to make a heart. You're a selfish, cold-hearted bitch, Christina Yang. Sandra O, oh, you can burn in hell for the part that you're playing. That's what I think. Oh, we're back to Alex. Want to begin, Karev? And Dr. Steamy. I'm not going to ask you twice. Oh, so I get to cut on this girl's face. You know, he's already porked this girl a couple times, so now he gets to cut on her, so... He's probably thinking, I've been near this face before, so let, let's wipe our taco sauce from lunch on her. Yeah, it looks nice and good. And let's make a nice little cut across the, you know, let's use the dull end of the blade and cut across. Uh, that, that'll make her face pretty. Now, more blood-sucking part. My vampire tool here. You know, I didn't know her face had this much blood in it, but whatever. We'll take care of this shit. Now, evidently, she already had face reconstruction because every guy wants a girl who fixes everything about her that looked Good. fine before. I'll take it from here. So, uh oh, here comes booty call from earlier. Shit's about to hit the fan. Looks like an exciting surgery. I'm scrubbed in. Need help? Uh, uh, oh shit. Um, uh, uh, one girl that I've already done, and now the one I did this morning. I still smell like the second one, but let's. Uh, for some reason, you ripped the girl that you're operating on out of this picture. I don't know why. And, yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever. Are you sure you're sterile? Alex, uh, I know how to scrub in. I'm not saying you don't, but we have to be sure. You know, this is like the worst excuse you ever, know. dude. You want to talk to that girlfriend or keep operating on this one? BAM! <laughs> you're operating on Ava? Wow, I really think that my laugh from when I recorded the game originally picked up, and I just heard it. That's how funny that part was. McSteamy, like, just raping this guy's world, just be like, you want to fuck that girlfriend or this one, you know? He's awesome, so of course we've got to get out of this situation. But yeah, if you go back and listen, I just heard me laugh through my speakers when I first played the game. That is hilarious. It's not a big deal. Then why didn't you just tell me? Yeah. How many times are you going to do this before you actually feel bad? I'm not, because I just want to fuck you. And now, what, does anybody pay attention to patients? This is not surgical high school. Either get over here or get out. Yeah, about time. Who would have thought that Dr. Sloan would be the voice of reasoning? It's like, let's fucking do this surgery because that's what we're paid to do, you fucktard. Jesus Christ. Seattle Grace Hospital is like the worst place ever. If you want to die, I guess you go here. Now I'm starting to rage. Let's go back to Mark. Oh, we just switched sides. Oh, he's winking at some other woman. No, wait, who's this? I'm confused. Oh, it's Mick Dreamy. Anyone in this hospital you're not trying to sleep with? Ooh. Your top rooster, you gotta keep all the hands happy. Yeah. Don't blind my patient, okay? So I thought it was his patient. So what? What? Would we just hand patients over? This I'm so confused, gamers. I hope you all are following what's going on. All right, so we got to figure out what's eating McDreamy. So obviously we're gonna get rid of the bitch that he's worried about, and now Doctor Sloan can think about McDreamy. So that's kind of creepy in a sense. So you okay? I told something to someone in confidence, and she told her best friend. Well, we can tell who that is. 
So we have a choice. Do we uh, give him gentle advice or harsh advice? Well, this is Dr. Sloan, who's a fuckhead. So, of course, we're going to give harsh advice. So, fuck the blue. Bam, bam. We play tuba in the hospital. Yeah, I think this is a tuba. Let's see the advice that I give, the harsh advice. Take off your training, Bron. Be a man. Talk to him. Yeah! Her. Okay, I will. If you tell your new crush how you feel. Oh, wow. What is this? High school? Okay, you can insert the implant. Just watch the lateral edge where the infraorbital neurovascular bundle runs. I bet he filmed that 165 times before he get it right. Because we went from talking about high school drama to, oh shit, we forgot about this patient, so let's put the implant in. So somehow she's had so much oral sex that she broke the uh, implant in her eye. So we have to replace that, you know. Just I'm trying to teach you all some v wondrous variety in hospital slang. So let's insert the new implant. God, I'm still stuck on the dance party thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and suitor her up. Oh shit! Oh yeah, look at this, just brand new. Let's put this bandage on. Nice. I actually tried to put it on slow here, and the game's like, oh god, you went too fast. But we get it knocked out. So drama is opening up here at Seattle Grace Hospital. We put this girl's face back together. Mick Steamy uh, here. I have a new crush. Oh. Of course you don't. But we'll have to find out what happens there in the next act, gamers. So this is SKS saying good night and goodbye. <laughs>